Our hardcore world is really starting to come together. We've got a bridge, some wheat fields, even a little cow pan, some lovely village docks with some pillagers taking over. And over the other side, we've got an even smaller dock that we can dock on with some more wheat fields leading up to our home. Different variations of the same street lamp like our way. And if we follow them, we can even see our little mine. Expect nothing less, you check as I'm chess, what's happening next year? Alrighty folks, I'm Casey, welcome back to some hardcore Minecraft. We are shooting towards day 100, currently on day 67, and our farm is really starting to come together. I'm really enjoying what we've got so far, trying just little intricate builds to just sort of piece it all together. And today is no different, I want to continue on with adding more to it. We've got an overpopulated cow pen, but it's not the only animal in Minecraft. There are sheep, which is a great source of wool, and since I'm part Welsh, you know I love my sheep. So I think the first part of business is to create a nice little sheep pen, and I'm thinking it might look quite nice, maybe right about here. Now while I am a fan of this design, and I do quite like it, it looks really nice, I don't want every pen to look identical. So I'm going to make this one mainly out of wood. That was a weird word. So I need to chop down some more trees. I need to get some more wood together. I'm going to use a mixture of birch and oak. I've got an idea in mind that I want. And also, guys, I did go a little bit of mining during between episodes. Got myself a few more diamonds. And here she is, cow pen, sorry, the sheep pen is all in place, we are lacking sheeps inside. I did want to just sort of mess this up a little bit inside, but I decided just to leave it all grass because sheep need a place to graze. we got to realize we can't fill this up as filled up as the cow pen is, that would be a huge mistake. I also need to get some chains so I can hang the lanterns from here because I am like completely, completely out of iron. But first things first, let's go get the sheep. sheep all nice and dandy you guys were paying to get here so many miscommunications with me before we run off and get some iron i actually want to tackle a couple of the minor jobs that need doing around here this dock is really really cool but i would like there to be a way up over here right now there just kind of isn't so i want to fix that a little bit uh, we will use spruce wood or we'll use oak wood for this rather 
Um, can I? But yes, I can go up that one. Good, 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 good. And I just kind of want to bring a somewhat of a, a way up around here. We may need to may need to do something where this is concerned because we do kind of pop over here. Let me get rid of this. Might give us a bit of a bit of an advantage. Just something simple. Something like this I kind of like. It fits in with the theme that we've got going on over here. Probably want to take that one out, if I'm being honest with you, though. Uh, we could put that one in. Actually, if we do that, yeah, I like that a little bit better. So it's just a kind of little roundabout way of getting up and down. Just very simple, and I'm trying to keep it simple. And uh, next, I want to kind of do something with this area right here, because I don't like it very much. We'll begin with just peeling away the trees, first of all. While I wait for the, the trees to despawn, I've missed a block right there. I'm going to just peel away just a little bit to give this the shape that I want to do. Because I want to put some sort of like wall around it. So I've got a bit of an idea in my head. And I want to keep it again fairly simple. Uh, definitely not that simple though. Like that. And I'm thinking I'm going to pop these like every so often. Sort of holding it back. And then in the sort of in between areas we're going to connect them maybe using fences. Maybe something like that. Do we connect them? Is that... Do I like that better? Hmm. You know what? I, I think I've got another idea. Strip spruce. And I think it looks quite a bit better. But I do want to make this a little bit more rickety. So, like, it's there, but it's slowly been worn away by, you know, time and whatnot. Yeah, I kind of like that a little bit better. Maybe this one goes because it's a little bit too much. Or maybe I take that on the inside. Yeah, a little mixture of the two I think goes really, really well. Now I want to kind of bring this all the way over here. I think we'll probably have the first pillar probably about uh, here. We want to make sure that it doesn't interfere too much with what we've got going on here. And there we go. That's three, yeah. Uh, we'll put the next one here. Uh, maybe we do one in the middle. But yeah, I'm going to get these done. I'm not going to keep doing them all on camera. And just like that, it's part of this little farming settlement that we've got here. But we do have quite a lot of these lights that don't actually have lanterns hanging from them. So I think we should probably solve that now. Before we do a little bit of cave-in, uh, let's craft up the bits of diamond armor that we are missing. Uh, stop scratching your freaking uh, arm while you're also doing this. Would be great. That way you can shift click. Oh, brilliant. Cover me in diamonds. Where's my advancement? Where's my advancement? I'm pretty sure that that is an advancement. Apparently, I already had it. Do you only need to make the chest plate? Maybe you only need to make the chest plate. I managed over a stack of iron. I'm just going to smell a snack up. I did manage to snag some chains from the mine shafts, which is all good. I do love how this is going together. Now that we've added in these lanterns, we've actually got something that looks really cool. I like this big one right here, this like intersection here where you can go off here, there, and this way. But that brings me to what I want to do now, which is I want to put like a well somewhat here. I don't know if I want to do a small well. I mean, there's, there's that option, but then there's also the option to do a much bigger well. Uh, if we could do it four by four. I think that's probably what I'm going to go with. So we'll just take this out, take this down just a tad. Uh, we'll put in some cobblestone and some andesite at the bottom. That's fine. And then uh, what do I want to do with the sides? I mean, the sides I don't want to be cobblestone. That's that's for sure. All right, now I'm getting somewhere. Now I'm getting somewhere. I'm beginning to like this. I'm beginning to like this. Uh, we do want to definitely put some sort of roof on this place as well. So we'll go ahead and uh, do I want to do that? Uh, I'm not sure. Here it is. King's Well. Actually, that, that, that's a pretty cool name. I, it just reminds me a bit of a crown. So yeah, this is King's Well now. This is it. Uh, quite muddy around here where people would be coming. A uh, little bit less muddy over here because not as many people will be going through here. Uh, but uh, it might be. Do I have any? Uh, I do have some on me. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to just crop that out like that. And pop this here. And then put the odd path block in here. The idea being that, you know, a lot of people wouldn't, you know, walk all the way around. They'd take the shortcut across here. So I'm more than happy with that. Now, the next thing that I want to do is I want to get this field in place. Now, I did think about doing another another one of these wheat fields, but uh, I thought, you know, I've got another crop. I've got beetroot. 
Let's plan to beat Root Field. Yay for the beat Root Field. Leave a like for the beat Root Field. All two pieces of it. Oh, eventually it will populate this entire field. But for right now, I've only got the two pieces. Long live the beetroot. Our little side is starting to look really alive and spacious. We've got a lot of things done in just a couple episodes. But I just want to turn my attention to this side of the bridge now. You see, you come over here and there isn't much. So I'm thinking that maybe we have a few houses. Um, I want to try something on a bit of a diagonal there. And maybe over here we just go with sort of like a regular home. If you will, a, a, of a normal shape. Uh, something like this, I'm thinking. I mean, I'm just kind of putting blocks down and finding my shapes here. But this is definitely kind of what I'm thinking about. We could go a little bit further back with this. Like that. And then we can start bringing it back on that same diagonal like so. Hi there, friend. You got anything interesting? Probably not. Oh, you've got some small drip leaves. But nothing that I really want too much of. Sorry, do you want one of these houses? Are you looking them up? Are you checking out the competition? I mean, they're not built yet, but uh, we got a couple of shapes here, different sort of shapes here. And uh, I want to do these four here, so we've got at least some life to it. And I want to make them out of a mixture of three different blocks. You know, I want to kind of use tough in here, uh, some cobblestone more, uh, some andesite. And I don't want to take them up too high. I think just three high is enough for these. Now, would you look at that? They're just big blocks of stone, but at least it looks like somewhat of a village over on this side now. We've got four little soon-to-be homes. The next thing, I suppose, is to get the roofs in place. And I'm going to be using mainly just spruce for this. Let's just not do that many. I want to use spruce slabbage. Um, yeah. Uh, I don't have enough infantry space, do I? I also need some uh, scaffolding to get, to get up there. Chest to the rescue. It saved me. So we're going to start by putting the roof on at this level. And then I've, I want to go just with a slab roof, I think. I uh, don't want this roof to be too high. I want this to feel very much like a little hamlet that we've got going on here. So we'll go up on this level. And it's, it's the, the diagonal one I'm a little bit concerned about, if I'm being honest with you. Uh, not very good at de uh, dealing with diagonals, me. Uh, that's mainly the reason that I'm that I'm doing this. Okay, I want to. I actually want to take you out. I, I like the little bit of spruce wood just showing through up there. I think that looks rather nice. But you can see, it looks like a little village hamlet by just having this nice little sloped roof. And we're just going to get this roof on pretty much all of. Them. And just with the roofs in place, man, this is starting to feel like a bit of a village over here. Uh, very cramped village, but still a village nonetheless. Now, of course, all we got to do is we just got to park some entranceways in here for some doors. Uh, we got to put in some windows. And we, I want to try and keep as many of the doors as possible. Not sure how we're going to do the diagonal door. Uh, but we are going to be some uh, spruce wood. Uh, give me a few doors. I don't think I need 30 doors. But, uh, you know, I mean, it's, it's better than, than not having them. We'll place them from the inside so it gives this sort of indented look. A lot of people place it on the outside, but uh, it's just so flush, I don't really like it. It's not very often you see it from the inside, so more than happy to do it the other way around, just to make these look a little bit good. Uh, for this one, what we could do is we could just do uh, the wrong way. If we do the door from here, if we go boom, boom, just to give it the sort of indented effect. We could push that outward, but I, I like it indented. There, did we put a door here? We did, we did, we did, we did. And now we've just got to put in some windows. And I think for windows, uh, I'm going to go with mainly fences, which I'm pretty certain I crafted some up. Yeah, I totally crafted some up. They were in that chest. I did not craft them up between clips. I totally did not. You cannot prove anything. Uh, then what we can do is we can even add, like, some little things here. Could We, we could potentially do one here, but I, I, I don't think I'm going to do one here. Uh, not a big fan of this, actually. Uh, but this sort of like palette I do like. Yeah, we could do one here. I really wish we could put a trap door there, but uh, we obviously on well we can't. Uh, actually, I'm going to take this moment to show you guys something. One thing that I kind of have got to doing lately is just moving my door one over and not doing it in the center. Uh, the reason for that is it allows you to go ahead and break this out. Boom, boom, window. Looks really, really nice. Uh, we may very well end up doing that. Oh, we can't do it over here because this is a four. Uh, but what we can do is we can go ahead and just take these two out. 
stick in some fences and uh, still can't do a window there, fair dues. Uh, bit of wood up there maybe? I don't know. Maybe uh, if we go like this for an awning over the door. Yeah, I kind of like that. I kind of like that over the door. Can we do the same thing here? Uh, we could take it a step further actually and put a uh, spruce trap door over the door. A uh, spruce slab over the door as opposed to a trap door. And that just kind of looks really nice. Yeah, I kind of dig that. The beets are growing, and if you don't know, you can actually hit these guys with fortune to get more seeds. We got 13 seeds from just two. That's like six per hit, per beetroot. Now we've got the windows and the doors in. It actually feels like a little village in here. It's only a minor village, but it's still a village nonetheless. We can go ahead and just throw one of those over there. Uh, there are some spots where I didn't incorporate a uh, window. Uh, we may very well do that now. Oh yeah, I can't put one there, can I? Um, I'm trying to put them frequent, but not, but not too frequent. That being said, they, I do think they do kind of need to look cool. Uh, I like to put a trapdoor up there. I think it looks really nice. Uh, they do look very, very basic. Uh, but that's okay, that's okay. We're going to go and grab some leaves to start just bringing some foliage in over here, I think. And maybe some horse dirt around the edges. Also a pathway. I think the pathway might be the first thing that we do. Uh, I don't have enough space for all that. So I'm thinking something like totally different when we come over here uh, as to how I want this path to go. And I'm thinking this is like, I don't know, there's a bit of delay. There's, there's a little bit of delay uh, when I'm hitting all of a sudden. Uh, it seems to have gone now. Uh, I'm thinking we go with something a little bit darker. What about if we incorporate uh, some deep slate into the pathway? I don't want to use cobblestone or anything because we've used that in the homes. And it'll just kind of get lost, I think, in transition. Uh, that doesn't look too bad. And then we incorporate uh, just a little bit of regular uh, cobblestone. Not cobblestone, a uh, cobble deep slate into it. So we've got something like this. And then we will incorporate a little bit of gravel, I think, into the path. I think a little bit of gravel uh, will look quite nice. Uh, just here and there, maybe in the middle. Uh, apologies for my phone going off. How very unprofessional, but uh, I don't do YouTube full time, so not a professional. And then I think into some of the other bits that we've got sort of left over here. What about coarse dirt? I think that would just make the pathway feel a little bit alive, a little bit more so than it currently is. Definitely feels like a village pathway, I think. Uh, we'll do this one and then we'll find out. Yeah, I do kind of like that. It looks really good. It looks really good. Oh no, it's raining for the fourth time this episode. And now I'm getting into a soggy bed. And I think the final step to this is just some greenery around here. Just to bring that pop of color and some more life to the area. I like to put a little thing in there. A little fence post uh, myself. Uh, you don't have to do that. Uh, it's just something that I prefer. Yeah, this one's grown up outside of the window. Okay, big deal. Sue me. Uh, this one's actually going to be quite a big boy, I think. So it kind of cuts that entrance off. We could even take it up one more, up and over a little bit, I suppose. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. Uh, don't particularly like that one there, though. But uh, yeah, so we'll, we'll put some greenery over here too. Make sure we bring it out here and uh, over there and whatnot. The fence post to give it reason to be growing. And this just uh, adds, I think, character to the village and just makes it feel more alive when you've got some green stuff going on. And just some leaves. I know it's kind of like become the cliche go-to thing for Minecrafters. Like, you know, they just sort of, hey, what should we do? I know, let's just stick some leaves everywhere. Uh, we'll have this one sort of like growing up, I think, and on top of this home. How does that look? Uh, it looks a little bit dense back here. I think if we take that out, then perhaps put one over there. Uh, give it, let's give it another branch. Like that, yeah, that kind of feels alright, that kind of feels alright. Just the odd one, not too many. Some bone meal later, and this does feel like we've got a nice little village going on right here. And none of this was here at the beginning of this episode, I can't believe I've, I've, I've outdone myself in this episode. I've done what I thought I could do in this episode. I had a plan for this episode, it was, let's get that, that sheep field done, uh, let's add in that walkway, maybe a couple of lanterns, decorate the pathway a little bit, get that stairway in, and then I wanted to build a house either side of this road. But then when I started putting blocks down, I'm like, you know what, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do a couple more houses, and they look really nice. Oh man, super chuffed, let's just, uh, this is a, this is not a slab, so we'll go up here. 
It looks really good. I wouldn't mind putting some campfires and whatnot on here, but I'm just going to leave that be for now. I'm more than happy with the way this is. And uh, apparently a silk touch shovel gets you leaves. I didn't know that. And looking at it from this side of the dock, it looks really nice. It's just kind of over there. I think we definitely need to do some more work over there. Expand the village a little bit more. But for right now, it's really, really good. We are the... Uh, we are the money makers of this village though because uh, they, they, you guys have got poor houses. We've got a rich house. Casey subs get rich houses. They get nice houses. Uh, you are subs of somebody we don't like. I don't know who we don't like because we like everybody but that's not the point. Donald Trump subs. There we go. So guys, if I could ask you very kindly to leave a like on the video and click subscribe if you haven't already. Leave me a comment. Let me know. I put a lot of hours into these videos and I... I genuinely outdid myself in this episode in terms of what I thought I could do in the time that I had. Not saying that these are great builds or anything, but I, in the time that I had, I, I, did, I did a lot more than I thought I was going to do. And I'm really proud of that. I'm really happy with that. And I try to get better with each and every video. This hardcore series is all about me upping my building game and the amount of stuff that I can do in an episode and trying to get it down to a reasonable time that I can do it in. And I'm starting to do that. I, you know, a lot of things go right in this series. It's a really good series and I'm really enjoying it. So... This is the part of the video, guys, where it is time to end. One more time for a like. Leave a like for the, the pillagers who are firing their bows backwards. <laughs> oh, my, I didn't need to squat. But as always, I'm Casey. Thank you so much for watching. You guys take care now, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Driving at night, windowless ride, feeling alive. Nothing in sight, forever in flight. Follow those lines, we'll make it this time. Blurry street lights, work as a guide to memories.